Action Bronson, hi, how are you? Well, you know, I was known to wear a lot of Carl Kanai back in the day, the full vest. The vest with the short set, not even the denim full on. You know, everyone had the full length jacket and the full length pants, but I always went with the short and vest match. You know, salmon color, emerald green, straight up with the badge, the cop badge, the Kanai motorcycle boot. You know, I always had the Carhartt onesies. Looked like I was working the West Indians changing tires. Polo, yeah. It's great stuff. Ralphie Lipschitz, he's a good guy. We used to, I used to go to Bloomingdale's a lot, go take my little allowance money that my daddy gave me and go spend it on polo clothing. Met the head dude over there, Paws. He invited us to a party, Paws, a spring lineup for the new polo line. It wasn't that impressive, but at the end of the day, we met Ralphie. He told us we looked great. I was rocking the suicide sweatshirt. My man was rocking the cold wave pants. Yeah, we had like so many pieces on at that point. We had the waist piece. I had something over my shoulders. We used to just put on as many pieces of clothing as we can and just go out and walk around. At this point, it seems silly because now all I do is New Balances and fucking Carhartt swim trunks and shit. You shake your legs rough one against your shirt and it's like... This? I have restless leg syndrome, man. I need to go rub one out. <laughs> Let me go rub it out real quick. You're like, cool. This is you, dude. Trends today. Shit. It's a tough one. Because growing up, a lot of things that we did were ridiculous. Like, what's up with the one leg up on the jogging pant? I'm not into where you see a guy's whole asshole when he's walking down the street. You literally see, like, a woman, the underwear in the ass crack pause. Like, yo, my man, your shirt is way too short for the length, for the pant being below the ass cheek cup. What are you doing? Please, then don't pair it with a rhinestone belt. Studded sneakers? Get the fuck out of here. Snapbacks are my shit because I wore them as a child. The game with the G in the back. The fuck you know about the game hat? All you know about is these bullshit remakes, man, come on. It's like the Jordan with the Jumpman. Them shits don't even say Nike. Colored denim. I used to rock Jabot denim mad, like turquoise and like Cardinal from Marshalls. Those, those are pretty cool. It's like crackhead jeans. Pastel colored jeans, you go in the cop. Or not in the morning, you go in the cop that. With a ruffled bleach white jacket. Girl cowboy boots with the ruffles, the suede shit. With the zipper on the side, you know. My dress code these days. It's honestly because I'm overweight. <laughs> yeah, I like a lot of Carhartt clothing, things that make me look more workmanlike. I used to like to wear, you know, nice clothing and play dress up, but I figured who gives a flying fuck what you think about me? If I look in the mirror and I'm happy, and my nuts could breathe, then I'm okay. Because at the end of the day, what I do, no one else does. Everyone plays dress up when they're a rapper, and they go outside and they're in their finest church shoes and their finest red lobster outfits. <laughs> Me, I come out in fucking Crocs, Speedo swim trunks, a sweatshirt that I've been wearing for 13 days. Like, it just doesn't even matter and you still love me, so thank you. My fashion advice is do what you want, wear what you want, if it makes you happy. Don't go with everyone else's style. You're just gonna look like a fucking piece of shit. Carbon copy jerk off cocksucker. Chicken shit pussy asshole. That's my advice to the children. And don't use drugs. Unless you're with me.